Hi, I want to reflect on John 2.24. I was thinking of calling this every man, no man. John 2.24 is fascinating. Jesus, the Messiah, your creator, my creator, the lover of the people, a man of feeling, a man of peace, a man who fulfilled the prophecies. It says in Colossians 1, 15 to 20, all things were created by him. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. It says not only uh, through his word were things made, but by his word, Hebrews 1, 3, he sustains all things that have been made. Then he is the uh, actual Word of God coming alive in the flesh, John 1, 14. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. The Word of God, the man of God, Jesus Christ. He came to the people. In John 2, 24, very interestingly, a rare moment when, as it were, uh, the people were considering Jesus a bit of a hero rather than a villain. You know, in John 10, 20, it says that they thought, uh, people were saying of him that he was demon-possessed and raving mad. So, you know, Jesus on the edge all the time. There were always Pharisees on the fringe of Jesus' teaching looking to trap him. There was always this conflict around him because it was light meeting darkness. But in this chapter, John 2.24, towards the end, Jesus is getting a following. He's popular. Powerful verse. John 2.24 says, But Jesus would not entrust himself to them. For he knew all men. And he did not need man's testimony about himself. Now, uh, and it says, And he knew what was in a man. Now this is fascinating. It says in 1 Corinthians 13 that love always trusts, but it doesn't always trust that which is trustworthy. Love gives trust. It brings it. Love brings all these things that aren't deserved. Jesus came to us and he gave himself for us. He, he, went, so he came to seek and save that which was lost. Luke 19, 10. Then he spilt his own blood. Revelations 5, 9. To buy you, to buy me. He reached for us. He gave all that he was for us. But, John 2, 24, he would not entrust himself to us. And, you know, I think we can learn something from this. To be a Christ-like lover and giver to other people. There is something in us and in others that we should not trust or give into. That's not true love. It says in 2 John 5-6, True love for one another is this, to obey His commands. So we need to be careful how we contract with one another because sometimes we are entrusting ourselves to sinfulness in one another and then it actually compromise, compromises how truly we can love one another. Jesus did not entrust Himself to us and yet Jesus loves us and gave himself to us more than any other man. But he did not entrust himself to us. He did not entrust himself to us so that he could give us that which was pure in love. I think there's something in this. Jesus, when he was asked in Matthew 22, 36 to 40, what is the most important command? He, he, he stepped up and he quoted Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 5. He said, love the Lord your God. With everything that's in you, all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, love God and then love one another. Then he quoted Leviticus 19, 18. But we are to expend ourselves on God and spill over in second place to one another. We are to entrust ourselves to God and spill over from Him with real love for one another. I think there's a key to getting closer in true love to one another. And it's partly in being free from one another in a Christ-like way. God bless you.